Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Jurassic World Alive. I bet a load of you have been playing this game. In fact, I'm going to bring this over here. <laughs> Far away. Well, hasn't this game been active since this whole thing started? I say it like that because apparently... Uh, YouTube is like demonetizing people if you say the C word. So it hasn't happened to me yet. Probably because they don't think that I'm going to be talking about it. So I hope you've been enjoying the St. Patty's Day event because there has been a lot of coin up for grabs, as you can see by mine up there, which is 1,163,604. Uh, but that's not all of the good news. No, we've got loads more. New creatures were released. Um, if we have a look uh, before, oh, don't look at that, don't look at that. Oh, you're gonna see that in a second. So I was lucky enough the other day to come up against, and I'll show you the footage, because we're every, in the UK, everyone's supposed to be quarantining, um, or loads of things are closing down. As of today, I was recording this video, uh, at the end of the day, all McDonald's around the country are closing. All closing. Uh, it's a very serious situation. I hope all you guys are being smart about this, um, doing your research, and washing your hands, staying safe. Anyway, I hope I put up the footage of me darting this thing because I was at home and all of a sudden I was like, wait a minute, there's a thing over there. So I'd sprinted out because I was at my parents' house at the time, sprinted out my parents' house, went all the way, darted it, and then ran all the way back. I was like, oh, but I got a great score, didn't I? Yeah, I did. So we have the Eucala Deceros, which is the newest addition to the game. Um, I think as soon as these these um, creatures were added to the game, people in Russia already had the hybrids. <laughs> Straight away, just hacked it. Boom! Got it. Done. Um, so I'm going to get him to, well, you may as well get him to level 12 because we got some good shots on him. He was sort of doing some weird floating when he was moving. like, da, da, da. I'm not really walking. I'm doing moonwalk, but going forwards. Uh, I also have loads of mods to use up. Also, we have a new unique creature, the Smilonemus. Yes, this thing that is really good because it has 50% flipping armor with 127 speed. Oh, that's really good. Um, finally got this thing unlocked. As long as you boost it with speed, you can go right away and do precise pounds. I think. And then you got your you got the option to rampage and run. You've also got the option to swap in stun. So if there's a Thordor there or something, um, and you know you can you I mean if it does instant charge, for a start you're immune to stun. Um, and then you can just go for your precise pounce. And you're going to kill it, usually. I mean, it, it's it's a Thor killer, this thing, uh, if it's switched in and Thor's already taken a hit. Thor can do a lot of damage to it, um, but most of the time it's going to be faster. It's going to do precise pounds, lowering Thor's attack by half on the next turn, which will be his big hit. Um, and then even if he does go for instant charge, you're going to kill him because you're going to rampage and run and get out of there. This thing's a Thor killer, and actually I may switch it in for Thor. I know, sacrilegious, because I've already got that level 30. So, let's have a look at the events of this this week that are coming. Um, it's not too exciting. Spoilers, as you can see, <laughs> up there. Um, from Monday to Wednesday, we have some comments, which are, we usually have comments. Wait, oops, did I just put the wrong ones up? My bad. Oh dear, made a mistake. Monday to Wednesday, never mind, I got that completely wrong. <laughs> Monday to Wednesday, Ankylosaurus Gen 2, um, Brown Ethereum, uh, Scolosaurus, and Eupocephalus. I think out of all of these, you probably want to go for Scolosaurus because that's the only creature that isn't able, you're able to dot outside of an event. So probably want to go for Scolosaurus. Next one is oh, from Wednesday to Friday, Ankylodon, Elasmotherium, and Nodosaurus. Now, if you've been playing this game from the start, Nodosaurus has been there. You've probably got so much Nodosaurus DNA, you don't need it. Um, Ankylodon, you can just make, so there's no point dotting that. And Elasmotherium is probably the one you want to go for. And then on the weekend, Saturday to Sunday, you've got Amargocephalus. Again, no need to get that. It's a hybrid. You can fuse it. Uh, Ankylosaurus, which depending on what hybrid you're going for at the moment, you might want to go for. Or Carbonemis. Now, both Carbonemis and Ankylosaurus are general spawns in the wild. This week is basically focusing on health tanks. So if you want to do any of the incubators, all the battles are probably going to be... Uh, have, they're gonna have high health and high armor. So you're just gonna want something like Thordor, just in straight, or something that has defense shattering rampage or something. Just go for that. 
and you'll be fine. Hopefully, hopefully. You've got a few um, incubators dotted in there. You've got the Scap or Darwinopterus. I think it's a Darwinopterus on the Friday, which is a master level, so it's going to be really hard. Uh, but apart from that, there's no theme dinosaur ones. There's some, some Stegosaurid scents, I think, that, that's dotted around on the Monday and the Thursday. So, what has been going on in the game? Well, it's been weird. It's been really weird, hasn't it? I, I was on the radio. Oh, it was not on the radio. I was listening to the radio. And they were like, oh, welcome to this. This is a weird week, hasn't it? It's been a weird week. It's weird, isn't it? I'm like, shut up, man. <laughs> isn't that so another word you have apart from weird? Anyway, you've probably been just setting off your Giga Sense. And that's probably the best thing to do. What I've been doing is I've been setting off a Giga Sense putting my phone to charge, making sure that the screensaver doesn't come on so it just stays on all the time, probably blowing my iPhone to shreds because they're terrible for heat because uh, it gets so hot, but I just leave it on for three hours and I do something. So I'm working or I'm painting. Like the other day, I painted a really cool assassin miniature from uh, Dark Souls. I was quite happy with how that turned out. But just for instance, that's, that's, if you haven't been doing that, I'd say do it because for the first time, Lydia has now addressed it as COVID-19, don't pick that up, algorithm. Because <laughs> before it was just kind of in the light of the circumstances, you can now get GigaSense. But now they've basically said, yeah, this is, we're going to support you throughout this crisis um, in the market, which should be available for me now because I haven't bought any. Uh, the very owner, well, hasn't refreshed just yet. But at the bottom, you can now, instead of two lots of 350 dots, you can buy four lots of 350 dots. Meaning that you, you're, you're basically fine. You can get everything from the Giga Sense if you were darting all the time, probably. Uh, which is really helpful. I'm um, just going to open up this. We've had a tournament. The tournament's good. Like the tournament, Lydia. No mods. Get rid of him or boosts or whatever you want to call it. And just have, you know, it's like tactics. What's the best team? What's the best tactic you can go for? And what am I getting? Oh, that's good. Woo -hoo -hoo. Thank God there's not Nodasaurus. Jeez. Um, but... We have something even better than those new creatures. Oh yeah, let's, these are the new hybrids. So Tescorbinus, which looks horrendous. Uh, and there's a, there's a worse one, I think. It is this thing. Wow, it's just all knobbly and bubbly. Mammotherium and the new turtle that's been released as well which I have unlocked. Uh, also, we have a few pops for the Spino Constrictor. And actually, because I have that new uh, creature, yes, I, I also want to say our alliance. We did it, guys. We flipping did it. Rank 10. Big thank, big shout out and thank yous to Tomo, Icy Boy, and Zeke Dad. Zeke Dad has been there from the beginning as well as Eddie Ceratops, and I always see them in the top contributors. Tomo is, a, I think, a recent one. I could be wrong. I'm so sorry if you've been here for a while. Um, but just, like, these ones are so hard to get. These flipping contributions are so hard. And I thank you so... And everyone in the Alliance will thank you, because for this one, you get 600 Diplodocus DNA. Very hard to come by. And it's going to be good for Gemini, Gemini Titan, I think it is. Um, not really too fussed about ranks, the, the, the defense, because it's... I mean, in there, what is there? Triceratops and Pachycephosaurus? Yeah? <laughs> yes, I think. If you haven't got those unlocked, I guess it's good. Let me just donate, shall we? Yes, let's go. And also thank you to everyone else in the Alliance, generally, for just contributing. We're still doing the Hall of Fames. Um, so if you do get top contributor, you get, like, a little award at the top. And then after a certain amount of weeks, we'll probably calculate, like, who probably is the most active and who just hasn't got any contributions. I don't want to say that if you haven't got any contributions, you wouldn't be kicked. Um... But if after like five weeks you still haven't got like a single one, it's saying something. <laughs> it's saying something. Whether it's hard for you to get or not. Either way, I, as long as you're helping out, that's all I can ask for. But I do have, where is it? Spanner Constrictor and Titan Boa. Yeah, we've got two more pops for this, so we should get to 200. Yeah, we've definitely got to 200, so that is four more pops for the Spanner Constrictor. The likelihood of us unlocking it is very low, but... If everybody in the Alliance was just uh, going for the Titanoboa um, Sanctuary, just donating into it, you too could be at the same point as I am with the Spanner Constructor, if not even further, because it's all about luck, really, what you get in the pops. So, here we go. One out of our four pops. To be expected. To be expected. We can give it another shot here, though. 
Come on, I've got 17,000 uh, Spino DNA. A 30? Well, that takes us to 100. We're getting to halfway. We've got two more. We could technically do it. We could get two 100s, but I think that's very, very, very unlikely. But we'll see. We'll see. What are we going to get? 30 is decent. 30 is decent. That takes us over halfway for Spino Constrictor. And the final pop taking us to drum roll 140. Of course, terrible. <laughs> it's the look of the draw. It's the look of the draw. What can you do? But if that isn't good news enough, no, we can go over here to the very top where we have another two uh, level 30s to add to our list. Finally, Trichosaurus has been maxed up. Oh my god, this has taken so long. We were so close for the longest time. It was Kendrasaur DNA, uh, but I knew eventually I would come by some, whether it was, you know, opening incubators or something, and I did. I didn't want to waste any of the events darting them, because there was other things to get. Um, and here we are. And I don't... Does Kendrasaur have any other uh, things to fuse? Hold on, let's just have a look. Kendrasaurus. Does it go into anything else? No, it doesn't. Whereas Ankylosaur uh, does go... It goes into Raja, Rajakylosaurus, which then goes into Dojirilosaurus. But I already have um, so much Tijongosaurus. I have 47,000 Tijongosaurus. So... Excuse me, there's no need for me to go for that. Anyway, here we go, 250,000 coin. Here we go, here we go, level 33 to 6 health and 105 extra attack for free. Fantastic. The other event, the same St. Patrick's Day event, didn't even realize, but Ludia took out blue. Well, I did, I, on the first day, I was like, wait a minute, and somebody told me in the alliance, they took out blue. But they also took out the Megaloceros as well, out of the rares. Don't know why they did that. I think maybe they're starting to see that Interrupted Gen 2 is a little bit broken in places against a lot of dinosaurs. And you've got a good team. Fair enough, but a lot of people won't have high enough levels to take on an Indoraptor Gen 2 or have, you know, the ability to swap in something that can do it. It's just a really tough dinosaur to take down. I've also got this thing, and I've seen a few people use it. Um, and I think, you know what, 250,000, I'm gonna max it up because we can get 200 extra health and 95 extra attack. And this also means we can take on the final battle into uh, the campaign, I think, now we can do. So I will no longer need requesting for Draco Rex or anything like that. So I'm really happy. And uh, let's go into the campaign for the final one because I needed, I think, two more level 30s. And now I have them. Um, so who should we start with? I mean, we may as I mean, they're the only ones we can use, but let's give this a shot. Let's give this a shot. I don't know. Oh God, there goes my headphones. I don't know what it is about um, Proceratothermimus, whatever it's called, but it's a erase of a race of, it's a race of, it's a race of, it's a race of, it's a it's a race of ability. Never seems to work. And there we go. Never seems to work. In, in Raptor Gen 2, when it goes for its little, you know, strike and it gets a 66% chance to dodge. It always gets it. But whenever you go for evasive stance, nah. Always gets it. I don't know what it is about it, but the game just doesn't like it. Oh, I might as well get me last. My last little pots of gold before this event is gone in six minutes. There you go. As much as I could. I hope you guys got as much, uh, coin as you could as well before this event disappears, but we've got one hour left of the tournament. Let's give that a shot. All right. I am only on 89 cups because I have barely done this. Um, now, I don't know if I've got the best team. I think we should just put in Kendrasaurus. We'll put in Kendrasaurus in case there's a raptor there. Kendrasaurus is just a better stegosaur. Ooh, interesting. Uh, ooh, what do we go for here? Do we go for Miragaya? Hmm. I'm gonna switch in Miragaya. Yeah, let's do this. Let's just at least get two hits in straight away. Yeah, superiority vulnerability. Now, he if he goes for devastation, which he shouldn't do, he's gonna get hit with another one of these, and that's a lot of damage for Carbonemus. Um, I think I have... I didn't put Carbonemus in my team because he's in a sanctuary at the moment. Um, but even then, as long as you've got loads of counters for Carbonemus, if they have it, it's just a waste of their creatures. So let's see what he does. He's probably just went for Superiority Strike. Um, because if he went for Dig In, he would have went first. Yep, there it is. That's fine. He can do that. I'm happy with it. That's another 1,350 off him. And that... Oh, that's a lot. That is a lot. And now all we need to do is switch in uh, Secodontus. Because we're immune to whatever he's got. Um, and then we get to go first. And we can just crush him with a... 
and normal hit. So he's probably going to go for, yeah, Devastation. It's the best he could do, and it's going to do a lot of damage. Fair play to him. Um, now, I'm just going to go for Crit, expecting him to switch, because he might want to save that. It's not completely unusable. If it's put into the right situation, it can use Digging and get, you know, just cause major pain to me. However, he's just going to fodder it off. So uh, that's great. We killed Carbonemus. Now, he needs something quicker. Probably a Raptor. I would say like a blue or a Velociraptor is probably what he should switch in. In fact, how quick am I? 114, that's quicker than T-Rex or Allosaur or Tarbosaur. Oh, a Mirror Gaia. Interesting, interesting. Okay, what should we go for? He's got 1,350. Um, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch in my own Miragaya and then just go for regeneration, because the worst thing he can do is go for two hits. Uh, he might just regenerate after I hit him once. Yeah, so there it is. And I think I break it. Is it? Does it go through shield? It might not. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't go through shield. So we can do two of those, and then we can just go for a generation ourselves. I'm not even playing Muragai. I'm just switching it in to do a counter. <laughs> and that's it. And then regenerate 1,500, uh, which I've healed more, which is good. Um, and then we can go for... Yeah, there you go. 607... Sorry, 675. Um, now, 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 now. I'm wondering what I should do here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow a second on the source. I'm gonna follow a second on the source. I'm playing this weird. This is, yeah, I thought we'd just go for a regular. Oh, we got the crit as well. Woo! Okay, okay, right. Now, Kentrosaurus's turn. We're gonna. S should we instant distract him? No, we'll not. We'll not. We'll do this. Um, and then he'll go for his counter, go for a shield. And then he'll go for his own regeneration, I think, at that point. I think he will. Because he can't kill me. Um, however, how long does that last for? Is it two turns? 50% for two turns. Okay. You'll go for... Yeah, I thought you'd go for his regeneration. That's fine. His shield will, it will disappear now. And then we can slow him down. Uh, oh, no. It doesn't disappear. The shield lasts for two turns. I did not realize that. And then I think we should just go for our biggest hit. Because he's... Oh, we can't, but we we will kill him. So let's see. He might switch in Sinoceratops or something, do the instant stun and attack. Oh, he doesn't have that. Oh, okay. That's what I would have done. I would have just got a quick hit in and killed me. We mustn't have a Sinoceratops or a Raptor. He does have a Raptor. Why did he not use this? Um, Interesting, interesting. Right. He might go for Precise Pounce, and then I'll just go for Instant Distraction uh, just to get off a counter on him. He might have forgot that I had that. Uh, okay. Well, we get to do some sort of counter towards him. But I guess he got a setup, which is maybe what he wanted to do. Um, right. Okay. Ooh, this is going to be close. This is going to be close. Oh, my raptor's quicker. My raptor's quicker. He's not going to like that. We got to go for our pounce. And then the short defense will disappear. Oh, but we're going to be nerfed, aren't we? We're going to be nerfed because he goes, oh, we've lost. Oh, damn. Oh, I just didn't have the right sort of team. Nuts. Uh, yeah, we've lost. We've lost. Well played, though. That was a close game. It depends what his other dinosaur was. I think he might have had one more. Uh, if Ke if Miragaya was in first against that Carbonemus, this match might have been different. So, well played to him. That was good. That was a good match. No, but I can't afford to lose the cups. I need to fight again. Okay. Okay, this time. What's it gonna be? Something good. Uh, ooh, Diplodocus is good. Ulicosaurus is also good. We'll start with Stegosaur. Stegosaur is always a good one. I'm sure I'm gonna have plenty of people in the comments saying, That's a terrible team. <laughs> hey, it's working okay. Uh, ooh, not bad, not bad. We get to do... So oh, we got lucky with the crit. Ooh, that was good. T-Rex might kill us if he gets a crit. No, can't kill us. Okay, okay. This is really good, however, because it allows us to lose our Stegosaur. Oh, he's switching. Ooh, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. What's he going to go for? Is he going to go for dig in? He might go for dig in. Oh, 
he didn't get the stun. Oh, that's unlucky. He's saving that T-Rex though. T-Rex does have 2,000 health, so it's worth saving. Um, hmm, I'm gonna go for this. Yeah, he's just gonna try and finish me. Fair enough, fair enough. Might as well. I just wanna keep him slowed down. Decelerating a strike. Ooh, ooh, close, close, could have survived. So he's winning one nil, but he does have two creatures that are in low health. Um, I'm gonna go for a speed up here. I'm, I could go for Rampage and possibly kill him, but I'm expecting a, a dig in here. Yeah, and I'd rather keep that Rampage because I don't wanna lose it. I do have a switch as well, uh, but then it'll be switching into Raptor. It's not a good lineup for me. Okie dokie, right. Um, does he keep his shield? No, he doesn't, okay. And then we'll kill him. Wait, what? Uh, oh, I forgot about that. Sneaky. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Now, he might switch out and just fodder off his T-Rex. Or not! I would say the Sinoceratops had more of a use because it can switch in. Whereas T-Rex kind of doesn't. Um, okay, 1-1. One, one. Here comes T-Rex. Now, um... Ooh, what do I go for here? Because he's, he's going to kill me. He's going to kill me. So I, I'll happily take the trade. I'll take the trade. That's fine. Because then it allows my Diplodocus to kind of... Oh, ah, it's not good. It's not good. Uh, my, Raptor, my Raptor could be decent, though. My Raptor could be decent. Right, so I'm just going to go for regular hit. Regular hit. Uh, now, worst case scenario, he has something, uh, you buggy you. <laughs> yeah, buggy you. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. A thousand. Um, how's that end of my turn? I was got, you freaking game? <laughs> what? Uh, okay, there we go. A lot of damage. Decelerating strike. That's fine. Now, he's gonna, he's gonna regeneration here. I feel like he's gonna regenerate. Now, I'm going to switch into Diplodocus. Is Diplodocus immune? I feel like it's not. I don't think it's immune. I could be wrong, though. No, he slows. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I'm expecting regeneration here. Or just a regular hit. Ah! Ha ha ha! Right. Now. Now, what I'm going to do is destroy his shield. Uh, well, I'm going to go for this one because I'm expect. Oh, no. Interesting, interesting. Ooh, ooh, now what do I do? <sighs> it depends what his other creature is. I might pin him. I might pin. I don't want to use my Devastating yet. I don't want to use that yet. That can kill the T-Rex, which I'm quicker than anyway. So it depends what his mystery other creature is. Okay, regeneration. Fair enough. I think I can kill him in two hits with just regular hits here. Because he only... Oh, never mind. 2,100... Oh, it's not enough. It's not enough. Um, but if I do this, will it kill? It will kill him. Okay. Okay. He's slowly getting me down, but it's... It depends what his other creature is. It really does. I'm, I'm trying to think. Does he have anything that might be dead? He might do. He might have something that's dead. Uh, that I haven't realized. Uh, it's a raptor. Oh, happy day. Okay, so we can go for... Wait. Wait. No! No! Oh, come on, you're like the perfect D. Oh, I have a shield. Oh, I have a shield. I have a shield. Ah, thank God I played it the way I did. Um, okay. Um, and then we just go for this one. He probably swapped in a T-Rex, but even then he's dead. We've won! Oh, it was close. It was so close. Oh, it was close. Anyway, also, uh, I want to say, if you go down the link in the description below, you'll find a link to claim your 50 bucks in-game. So, do, before you exit off the video, remember to like and uh, click on that little link. You'll get 50 bucks, which can help you towards whatever you want. Five, is it 10 free little cents? But at this point, who's spending bucks on cents when you get the Giga one for free all the time? So, I'm going to leave it there. I did not gain or lose anything. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.